Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I've been doing my own lashes, applying lashes underneath little clusters for four years now. And I don't think I have a single video on my channel of just a dedicated video people can go to to kind of learn the basics of how to apply lashes at home and also tips and tricks. I have a ton of videos sharing different brands. For example, I'll do like a lilac street video sharing a new style they came out with and then I'll show how I apply them, talk about tips and tricks, but I don't have a dedicated video, a simple start to finish. So that's what I wanted to do in today's video. The three essentials that you need to do your own lashes at home that you cannot go without are obviously lashes. There are so many different brands out there. I'm not really gonna go into all the different brands. Some of my favorite brands are lilac tree lash links ribbons there's just so many brands out there you're gonna need a lash applicator I have this one here from laced lash I really love it there are so many on Amazon as well and then also a glue when it comes to glues a lot of people will ask me what's the best glue which one will give me the most longevity and it's hard to say because I can have really good hold with a glue someone else will try it do the exact same thing and it just won't work for them so honestly it's Sometimes it's trial and error. If you find a glue that works for you, stick to it. If you can get up to seven days, two to seven days, two, three, five, seven, anywhere from there, I would say is normal. This glue is flexible, very easy to work with, comes off with a very oil-based cleanser. It's not lash extension glue, so it's very user-friendly and it's not gonna last you a month, unfortunately, but very easy to work with and very easy to use as well. Those are the three main things you cannot go without. Lashes, lash applicator, and a glue. Everything else can come with time, like a, you're gonna need a mirror to apply it, a lash sealant, things like that, a remover, all that stuff you can add to your collection with time, but those three things you absolutely need to do your lashes. So I'll link everything that I use down below, but the main point of this video is I wanted to talk about what you're gonna need to do your own lashes, the steps to do your own lashes, and then tips and tricks, and my feedback over the years, things that I've learned and what others have told me. Zoomed in a little bit so you guys can see. I have a mirror here in front of me so I can see what I'm doing. What I personally like to do is I like to double bond. So I will take the glue with a micro mascara wand, this one here, and I will dab it just at the base of my natural lashes. Do not swipe it through like mascara because it will clump all your lashes together and then it's going to be a sticky mess and I don't know I just feel like it's not fun. Some people like my sister work in sections so what she will do is she'll apply a little bit of glue where she's going to apply the cluster and then she applies the cluster moves on to the next section applies a little bit more glue she doesn't go and apply glue all across the natural lashes it's just a lot easier for her to work this way so you do what works best for you this is just what i do so i already have some glue barely like it looks like i have nothing there but i do a little bit goes a long way but enough like i could already feel it sticking to my bottom lashes grab your lash applicator and then grab your lash cluster you can go ahead and apply it underneath but what I'm gonna do is double bond, like I said. So I'm gonna take the white clear glue, and this one has a brush. These steps are not necessary. This is just extra steps for extra hold. And I'm just gonna go ahead and brush some glue to the top of the spine of the lash cluster, top of the spine. Basically, you see right there, there's a spine. Apply it on top. And again, a little bit goes a long way. You don't need too much. You can do either or. You can only apply glue to the spine or you can only apply glue to your natural lashes or you can do both i do both because i feel like it gives me better hold and then for the fun part is applying the lash clusters sometimes it can take practice and the more you do it, i feel like the better you get some people like to start in the inner corner for example my sister will always start in the inner corner here I don't because I like to start on the outer corner and then work my way in and then if I need can squeeze an extra one in I'll squeeze one in I don't like squeezing one in at the end I don't know personal preference some people start in the middle and then they'll do one here here and then kind of fill in the gaps you do whatever works what best for you I am going to start from the outer corner and you're going to apply these underneath as I mentioned so let me kind of show you guys what I'm doing you want to apply it a few millimeters away from the waterline. So there's my waterline. This is where my lashes start. I know, not the best angle. But you want to apply it a few millimeters away. If I apply it too far, so let me go ahead and apply it kind of too far, if you will. Like right here. When you look down, you're going to see a gap. 
it's not going to look like it's coming out of the root of your own natural lashes. So you don't want to apply it too far away, but you also do not want it touching the waterline because it will irritate you. So when you squeeze your eyes shut, you should not feel any poking or stabbing. Sometimes that means it's too close or you angled it in a way where one of the corners can be stabbing your eyeball. You don't want that. Kind of like that. Again, it's gonna come with practice. The more you do it, I feel like the better you get. So that's a 14 millimeter. I'm gonna move on to another 14 millimeter and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take my cluster, take that white clear glue, apply some to the top of the lash band and you can either place this right next to it. What I actually do is I very slightly overlap them. So here's the previous cluster. This is the one that I'm gonna apply right now. I slightly overlap these two edges here just for a more seamless look. i have just, it's just something that I do. Sometimes I'll go ahead and fan out the clusters, kind of like pull the sides a little bit. If the clusters are sturdy enough, it will allow you to do that. And then again, same thing. Um, you can go ahead if you wanted to and swipe some of that excess glue across your natural lashes to coat them as well and then just overlap ever so slightly for a very seamless look, kind of like so. And then just continue this for all the rest of the clusters. So I did two 14s. I'm going to go down to some 12s and some 10s for a cat eye lash map, if you will. This is the last cluster. I look and I feel like I can squeeze one more in and I'm gonna kind of heavily overlap this one. And with this one, what you wanna do is kind of grab it with the tips pointing down this way, not this way. I mean, you can grab it however you want. I just find that it's easier and angle it like so. It's just so much easier to apply it this way. And I feel like the inner corners can be a little bit tricky because if you apply it too far out, you're gonna feel a lot of poking and irritation. So I don't like to apply these too far out. There's like an airplane outside, you can probably hear it humming, but if you close your eyes, you should not feel any poking or stabbing or anything like that. I only like lash clusters that have a flexible, thin band. If the band is too stiff, I usually stay away from those types of lashes. I just don't like how they feel personal preference. You use whatever works for you. You don't want to go in and pinch them right away because the glue is still a little bit wet. So what can happen is you'll go to pinch it and the glue is wet. So when you release, the cluster is going to come off with it. And I feel like that's very frustrating. So just give the glue some time to dry down a little bit. And then once it's dry, then you can go in and pinch everything together to your natural lashes. But do you see how seamless this looks by overlapping these lashes in general, just very pretty. And then when I look down, this is what it looks like. So there's no gap really. So let me go ahead and pinch everything together now. Also, if you find that the applicator is too sticky, you can take some isopropyl alcohol, wipe them down, and it will get rid of that glue. But well, this is essentially the end result. Let me go ahead and finish this eye before I talk about a few other things. All right, so here's the finished result. This is what it looks like when I look down. A few tips and tricks that I wanted to mention is before you apply your lashes, make sure that your eye area and your lashes are clean and free of any oils. I use something called the Magic Primer. I'll try to insert a picture here. I get mine on Amazon from Amber Lash. I use a cotton round and clean up the eye area. Helps get rid of any excess dirt, oils, things like that. Oil is the enemy of DIY lashes. So even when you're removing your makeup, you want to make sure that you're not getting an oil and like rubbing all up in there because it's just basically going to remove your lash clusters. This is not professional salon lash glue. This is user-friendly, flexible lash glue that's meant to last anywhere from two to seven days. But prep is definitely key, so make sure you're starting off with 
oil-free clean lashes another question i get a lot of is how do you remove your makeup i just remove my makeup like regularly i'll use my cellar water with a cotton round and i'll remove all of my makeup and then i'll use my cleanser i don't go up in here and kind of like rub i don't do that what you can do is take a cotton round with micellar water and clean up any eyeshadow and then if you have any like eyeliner you want to clean up or things like that you can take a q-tip dip it in micellar water and then like really get in there and clean the around the lash the root of the lashes and things like that but do not grab your cleanser and just scrub a dub dub it's basically gonna make the lashes fall off some people will wake up the next morning and they'll be like oh my lashes are like half of them are missing it's hard to say why that can be it can either be the glue didn't work for you you applied too little glue you are a face sleeper and they just kind of smushed and all that it can be you didn't prep well enough so there were some oils on your lashes maybe your eyelids are naturally oilier my eyelids are also naturally pretty oily not my under eye just the eyelids and i find that using glue on the natural lashes and also on the base of the clusters really helps with longevity but it's really hard to say sometimes it can be the fact that somebody uses a sealer and it was a game changer for them so if you go like this and you feel any stickiness so i can feel some stickiness right here in the inner corner a sealer is a great investment they're usually like 12 dollars very inexpensive you can find some on amazon i have a whole list lashes list on my amazon storefront where i link some of my favorite items but you take the sealant and what i like to do personally is i'll apply the sealant to the insides of the lash applicator and then i'll go in and pinch everything together that way i'm coating both the top and the bottom the bottom and the top i did that in reverse and this helps to get rid of stickiness some people find it also helps with longevity makes their lashes last longer do not swipe the sealant through like mascara it will coat them in a waxy film and it's just going to make the lash fibers not as soft how do you remove them one of my all-time favorites lash length remover oil i find it just works so well a regular cleanser i have like an oil based face cleanser does not work as well it will take all my makeup off but the glue will still be on my natural lashes you need something that's almost like pure oil so i'd recommend lash links remover oil little bottle gonna last you forever you can get it on amazon you can get it on lashlinks.com there are a few on amazon as well i have them in my storefront i believe but lash links remover oil is my all-time favorite it just really does the job and does it well and you just apply a few drops kind of tap it into the tops of the lashes let it sit there for a minute or so and the lash clusters should slide right off and then with whatever's left over just kind of like gently pat it in and then use like a cotton round and remove the excess off of your lashes to make sure your lashes are nice and clean before you start a new set because you have all those oils on i would go in with an oil free cleanser like the amber lash magic primer and then clean off all those oils do not leave those oils on if you're going to start a new set of lashes so i don't know i feel like i covered a lot i have a feeling i'm forgetting something if anything ask me in the comments i just kind of wanted to have a video on my channel um, if you're like a complete beginner and you wanted something to reference to hopefully this was helpful <laughs> again i have a lot of other videos on my channel i've been doing this for four years so it's been a while just wanted to kind of share in one video of kind of like start to finish and tips and tricks and things like that so hope this was helpful thank you guys so much for watching check the description box for any links and hopefully i'll see you in future videos Bye.